Hi, and welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine, and today is Throwback Thursday. So I'm taking you back to an album that I started in 2008. Okay, so just like last week, we're starting with this K and Company album that I had for my other boys uh, sporting events. And this is my youngest son Aiden's album. So here he is, my little bug, starting his sports. Um, and again, these albums came with these stickers where you could personalize them in a spot to put a photo on the front. And just like my other boys' albums, Aiden's album begins with a layout all about play and how it's important to stay active. So here he is swimming. Here he is wearing an all-sport t-shirt, hanging out at his brother's sports because boy did he do a lot of that being six years younger than his next brother and ten years younger than the oldest. Um, playing in the backyard, practicing ball with his brothers, sprinkler, you name it. His album starts a little bit differently and it's all about Aiden's perspective of sports. So Aiden grew up watching his brothers play. So he grew up behind the bleachers. He was that little boy running around under the bleachers while mom and dad watched the game and he was such a good little kid. He used to just totally entertain himself and everybody adored him. And sometimes when I run into parents that our kids played sports with and tell them that Aiden graduated this year, I just ran into one the other day when I was getting my photos developed actually. And she she said, I saw on your Facebook page that he graduated this year. I cannot believe that. And I was like, I know, because he was just this guy. He was just this little pumpkin running under the bleachers being just so sweet. Anyway, so his started a little bit differently than the other two. I thought it was important to include that. Um, okay, so then just like his brothers, he started with soccer, little Timbits soccer. And I loved these little playing cards they used to get. My husband thought they were such a waste of money. I'm like, but they're so cute. So anyways, this paper was made for soccer. And on the opposite side for my second page, I just used a matching sheet of cardstock and put a big soccer sticker in the middle. And again, with the kind of blocking grid style layout. Um, this one is chipboard letters. Um, he has, I have his certificates, so when you see these little ribbons and such sticking out of the top, that just means there's a certificate in there for him to look back on. Um, chipboard, brads, torn edges, but mostly cardstock. Um, again with, this one was a, what do you call that, transparency piece? So it was a 12 by 12 transparency that I split in half. This side of the layout is white, this side is blue cardstock, and so when I put them down, it shows through that color. So that was just a little bit of something different I did. And then I wanted to do like a sequence thing, but it didn't turn out how I wanted. I didn't redo the layout, I just left it. Sticker tag, brads. Um, this is a Cricut Cut title sticker. Um, this is like, I think these are Jolie's Boutique bits, maybe. I don't know, they're dimensional stickers of some kind. And then this is why his album is so big, because with digital photography, I took all the pictures. So like this, for example, like you saw Brandon's, right? Like one layout per sport. So here is Soccer 2008, also Soccer 2008. And then here we have um, Soccer 2009, also Soccer 2009. This is just his team. This is Mini Fest, which is a little fundraiser they do that we go to every year. Did I have pictures of this for my other kids? No. But did they participate in it? Yes. So that just convenience of digital photography, right? Okay, guys. Do you recognize this paper from watching my channel? This is Basic Gray's Oliver collection, the 12 by 12 parts that I had. I did not know how to use a 6 by 6 paper pad at the time, but I certainly have learned because <laughs> I've used this all up. So anyways, here's some of those um, journaling spots that were in the collection, some sticker bits, chipboard bits, 
Uh, chipboard title, not part of the Oliver collection. I think the Robons were from Basic Gray, but I don't know if they were from this collection or not. Um, again, with the Oliver collection, because I loved it. And here we are, and this is his first year playing baseball. And he was just like, he loved baseball so much, but he could not hit the ball to save his life. I think his vision was just not good enough. But he loved baseball so much, and I killed his dreams by telling him that maybe baseball wasn't his thing. Anyhow, so for this layout, we have some uh, 3D elements here. We have some chip painted chipboard and some corrugated uh, paper titling. These are like little ribbon brads. These are more chipboard pieces, some fishy stickers, and some, what is this called? Like, I don't know, pom-pom ribbon maybe? And then we got some vellum in the background. I thought that went well with water stuff. And this is a cutout piece from, do you guys remember back in the day when you used to get Creating Keepsakes magazine and they would have like cutout bits that you could cut out in color? That's what that is. Powdered paper on cardstock. Now this is me experimenting with the next Cricut I bought that had 12 by 12 um, mats that you could cut on. And I had this sports cartridge and so I cut out a 12 by 12 background for both pages of his first time at the college basketball program. So I also, I loved these little things. Thank you. They were like, I don't remember where they were from, but they used to be very popular in scrapbooking. And this one actually was meant for Brandon's album, and I don't know why it never went in there. And then I rediscovered it when I was doing Aiden's album, so I stuck it in his. And then these are, they look like they're just from one of those, like, um, what do you call those, like, label maker thingies? And I do have one of those, but I didn't make these. These all came on a sticker sheet, so... That's, there's a tool I should dig out, hey? Okay, um, this is a laser cut title. I don't know where I got it from. Karen Foster Designs, again, um, that collection that I used but clearly across all three kids' albums. Aiden also was a karate kid and he loved karate, um, but when he got to the age to compete, he wasn't allowed to wear his glasses in competition and could not see well enough without them to compete. So we offered to sign him up again after he got old enough to wear contact lenses, but he decided not to join. So here is, this was actually another one of those cutoff sheets, you know, the, that I was showing you, like at the top is the um, title and at the bottom is a, like a border piece. So this was all white. But I just like fussy cut it instead of just slicing it in half. So that's what that is. And then I had these like raindrop pieces that I put on top, like epoxy bits. Right. And this is again that King Company paper pack that I had with the sports stuff in it. Here is some more baseball. This is a baseball rub on. These are some dimensional baseball stickers. This is a baseball button. What else do I got on here? Yeah, this was also a baseball button. Look how massive that thing is. And again, with the teeny photos, right? Because you take them from so far away. Uh, basketball. We have basketball ribbon across the top, or is this paper? Nope, that's paper. Okay. So paper, dimensional stickers. I think this was also Karen Foster's design. Um, and then karate tournament. So this is when he was still competing, was still allowed to wear his glasses. It wasn't until he got older that that happened. And these were like um, cardstock punch out bits. I can't remember what they were from, but um, I put those epoxy stickers on them and a brad through the top. So that's what those letters are. And then these are more of those peel and stick like post-it note kind of stickers. And I... But karate was one that had a little bit more option for paper, patterned paper stuff. 
these are more of those epoxy circles got some ribbon here and I did some doodling on my lettering and my mat um, here is a skiing layout um, he started skiing pretty young with his dad and his brothers and here we have just this diagonal cut again I think I've done this a few times in the sports albums because I would usually only get one sheet of um, paper and wanted to use the whole thing um, so this is how I got it to stretch across both pages of the layout um, these are alphabet stickers uh, I think these are two actually but these um, stitching lines are rub-ons yeah. and then we have some more karate and these ones were just out of some generic um, little boy paper I, it, I don't even think it was sports themed necessarily it was just little guys And then we had some more baseball. This is his first tryouts. See, that's another thing. I never took pictures of tryouts for my other kids, but I couldn't go to tryouts, so his oldest brother took him and took pictures for me. Um, this is another, um, I think it was laser cut title that you just put together. I think they're from Paper Wizard. I don't know if you guys have ever checked out Paper Wizard, but I love it. It's it's a splurge item that I do every now and again. This is a sticker. These are those 3D stickers from Kane Company. Uh, these photo mats are from one of those, those calendar sheets that I talked about before in one of my other album shares where you'd get like some well-meaning friend or relative would bring you like 365 days of scrapbook paper and it would be these like four and a half by six and a half sheets of patterned paper and quite often they had like frames or sayings or whatever but I used them as photo mats on the ones that I could use as photo mats but I, I recycled a ton of them. Um, this one is a combination of a bunch of different baseball stuff that I had in my collection, my stash, um, various papers and um, cut apart cards and stickers, cut apart stickers, sticker title, sticker banner, ribbon across the top. Um, this one, again, with those um, calendar sheets, the 365 days of patterned paper, that's where those are from. And I think I cut these out of some of these papers as well and used them as embellishments. And I punched these out of these as well and used them in as, as embellishments. And I punched these out from these and used them in as, as embellishments. So I really did make an effort to use what I was given. Um, it just didn't go as far as I think it was intended to. So this was also cut, fussy cut from these um, 365 day things. So was this. Uh, this title and these items were from, cut out from my Cricut. And this is just like a layered paper piece. Or is this one of those? Oh no, this is another one of these um, 365 days of patterned paper. This is that creative, uh, no, not creative memories. Close to my heart collection, sports collection. That was pretty versatile. It had a bunch of different kind of sporting things in it. So this one I used for basketball. Um, and here's another spot where I used a bunch of numbers. Sports is another good place to, to use numbers. There's a lot of numbers in sports. Scores, numbers on jerseys, uh, distance, time, tons of numbers in sports. Another good place to use your alphabet numbers when they're left over. This was his first year playing school sports. So they start in grade five with a basketball league. So cute. Um, and again with the digital photography like I would have never thought to bring my camera to work so that at the end of the day when I go from my school to this guy's school that I can take a picture but then with camera phone like a phone on your camera it was easy to take pictures of this one so that's I, I'm sure that's why he has so many more things to put in his book all my kids played grade 5 basketball but they don't all have a layout from grade 5 basketball um, here's another one of those um, full-size sheets from karate I think the last one was skiing, right? Um, and there was a curling one in Josh's album, if you remember back to last week. 
And so here again, I just cut it diagonally and, you know, used the photos in the center. And these are some stickers from a karate sheet, sticker sheet. Um, these ones were way back in the day. What year was this? Did I put a year on here? Hmm. 2014. So Cricut used to do this thing. If you subscribed to their, it was before Design Space. It was the one before that. I don't remember what it was called. But if you subscribed to that, they would every week send you, I think it was like an email or I don't know. If you logged in to your account, you had access to um, different cuts every week. So anyways, that's what that was from. I cut a bunch of them that week because they were sports related. Another Cricut Cut title and just some stars. Cross Country Running. I think this was from that Cricut cartridge that was about sports. And here's another one of those tags. Um, this was his first year at middle school. This was City League Basketball. This is his first middle school sporting event. Um, he also did ski club. So here's his, this is again, um, Cricut cut title with some doodling on it, stickers, chipboard, Cricut cut. And here I did look how fancy this is. I tore some paper, I inked the edges, and then I tucked the skis and poles into the snow. That's fancy for me back in 2015. And then Brad's. Uh, and some doodling. Let's see, here we have some more. This is some more of that Bella Boulevard paper, sporting paper. And then I just used my Cricut to make volleyball stuff. I have bought volleyball stuff, but it's not as easy to find as say like basketball or baseball. Um, here's another, this was just a boy collection that had some basketball stuff in it. So I just put those basketball things in here. And um, this one has like um, these popped up basketball stickers. I don't know where I got those from. And some cards and these are stickers too. This was a basketball camp he went to. Mm. What's this one? Oh, this is more cross country. So this is the next year of cross country. So here again, like I would not have these pictures if I did not work at his school because these pictures were saved into our shared folder of pictures for the yearbook. So I could download them onto a jump drive and take them home with me. Um, these are wood veneer that I stamped on. How fancy am I? Wood veneer stamped on chipboard arrow piece, cut apart cards, ribbon, large brad, chipboard piece. Here's some enamel starting to appear in 20, this would have been 2016, 2015. So probably scrapbooked in 2016. Here's some ribbon, oops, bumped my elbow. And a large brad stamped wood veneer, some washi tape. And here's some volleyball. Here again, with, I did have some volleyball paper. Um, and I obviously cut some volleyball paper into volleyball shapes to tuck behind my photos. And what else do I got on here? I got some brads, some cut apart tickets, uh, some stickers, and some enamel shapes. Here we have some basketball stuff. Um, I, I don't even know what this is. It's like rubber, a rubber piece maybe. And then these are brads, these gear brads, star brads, paper clips. I've bought these gear brads so many times. They're from the Islet Outlet. Every time I run out, I end up buying more because I still really like them. Um, snowflake pieces. I don't remember where these are from. Uh, letter stickers, letter stickers. Um, patterned paper from Recollections from one of those paper pads. This is such thin paper on cardstock. 
and then here again is one of those layouts that the pictures were so far away that i could cut them really small print them on four by six and then cut them down really small um because it's just easier to send them to print that way but then look at how many pictures i get on one layout one two three four five six seven pictures okay so just like his um brother he has a second album so here he is at basketball camp outside the college and he posed for that picture for me he was never as embarrassed of me taking pictures as, as his brothers were um see again free throw competition all of my boys did them this is the only kid i have pictures of him doing it <laughs> because it's just so easy to always have your camera on you when it's in your phone and you carry your phone with you um so here we have puffy stickers um letter stickers this i think is basketball paper but this is just generic stripe paper uh, this is basketball paper in the background and this is bas strips of basketball paper and then cut apart in basketball um, chipboard sticker letter stickers brad's ribbon brad's ribbon cut apart tickets Cut apart tickets, Brad's ribbon. So this is where I'm starting to do my um, triangle thing. So I have the same elements here, tickets, Brad's and ribbon, tickets, Brad's and ribbon, arrow Brad's, enamel shapes here, here. So that's where I guess I started that. So this would have been, hmm, I don't see the date I'm sure it's here somewhere but 2016 right there you guys are probably like screaming at me Nadine it's literally right in front of you okay so here's another one of those like generic um, generic patterned paper from a sports collection I think it's this is still the Bella Boulevard one and I used this one because their shirts were green and this had the green in it um, but I still used my basketball ribbon and some cut apart pieces, washi tape, that kind of thing. This one is a Cricut cut border. And this is just a bunch of these, uh, this patterned paper cut out into little word strips and made into a border. Here I used, uh, again, my scrapbooking is changing and I'm using some, um, what are these called? Journaling strips. This is a plate. I don't know if you guys remember these they were like a thing for a while where you could buy these license plate things that had like a word on them or whatever anyways and I secured them with some brads this is from that same uh, photo shoot where I took pictures of the boys playing basketball with their dad and did a layout in both of their albums about how basketball is not just a, a sport that they play for competition it's something that they love to do as a family how they bond with each other um, more volleyball again um, this is specific to vo volleyball but a lot of this other stuff is from that generic um, Bella Boulevard paper like this piece this banner piece um, here's another ski one that has these I can't remember what these are called something chips chips and then here's some chipboard pieces a chipboard title and this actually had like a frosty the snowman nose on it somewhere and i just pulled it off frosty ski day they went skiing when it was like very 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 cold but they did it because they wanted to go before brandon had to go back to ontario it was insane i can't remember how cold it was it was like minus 38 degrees celsius which is really freaking cold um and then some more this is like a boy lay boy oh, of course it's a boy layout but it's a boy line paper line it's not like sports specific but then i added sports kind of embellishments so it made it more sporty um this is another example of that where i just used like a boy collection a generic boy collection and then um just used it to scrapbook the pictures for um i think this is basketball yeah so basketball 
And this, I think, might have been the last year he played basketball competitively, like on a sports team for school. This is the trampoline park. This was something, oh, I have to get some glue on there. I'm going to set that aside so I remember to do it. Um, this is a layout that I had to put in here because when we had a trampoline park in town, it didn't last very long. There was a lawsuit against them or something and they had to close. But he loved it there. He went there as often as he could and it was literally on the other side of town. <laughs> but it was awesome. He was my runner. Um, he joined this uh, 5k foam fest with his auntie and his cousin. He loved it. Basketball again, but this is like a city league and a day camp. Um, trying something new. He tried some archery, but he didn't really love it, so he didn't continue with it. Basketball, again, City League, didn't play competitively. Um, this has to go in here somewhere. It's the his team, grade nine team, he played zones, or his team went to zones, he went with them, but he didn't really play much, so I don't have like good photos of that. Here are the few photos I have of him playing that year. And then this is him golfing with his grandpa. He also loves golfing. He loves mountain biking, he loves hiking. Um, but I don't know how I want to finish this layout because he didn't really have a high school sports career like his brothers did. He was more of an academic type, although he's very active. Like he, he's always hiking or biking or swimming or shooting hoops or jumping on the trampoline or whatever, but he's just didn't play competitively. So I'm not, I haven't decided how I want to finish this book up. So that's why these two layouts are just sitting here because I only want to take the album apart, add page protectors, and finish the album one time. I don't want to add page protectors every time I finish a layout. I want to decide how I'm going to finish it, I want to finish it, and then I want to put it together. Make sense? Okay, so I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please click that like button to give me a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of my videos, it would make my day to have you as a subscriber. Just click the subscribe button and be sure to hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when a new video goes up. Have a fantastic day, everyone. See you soon.